Now we shall take another uh, four distinct points. That is P is placed on vertical plane at a height of 20 mm. So P is 20 mm above HP, but on AP. This vertical plane is common for both first quadrant and second quadrant. So let's see their projection. So as usual, we draw the XY line. Draw the projector for P. Because it is 20 mm above HP, take 20 mm above XY line. Plot the point P dash. Again, the top view of this point, capital P, lies on the HP, on the XY line, because it has no breadth. So if a point is on BP, its top view lies on XY line. So mark the point on XY line. So P is a point which is common, which is placed on the vertical plane, common to first quadrant and second quadrant. So you have the front view. 20 mm above xy and top view on xy because it has no breadth. Take the point q. The point q is 30 mm behind bp. So behind bp means it should come above xy line. So you will have the point q on 30 mm above xy line. And the front view q dash should lie on xy line because you have no height for that. So take a reasonable distance, draw one more line, because point Q has no height, put Q dash on XY line, take 30 mm above XY line and place small Q, just keep the distance as 30 mm. Go to the point R, R is a quadrant which is common to third quadrant and the fourth quadrant is a, or is a point that lies on the vertical plane. The vertical plane is common to both third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So here R is defined as the point 20 mm below HP and on BP. Take a reasonable distance, draw one projector for R, take 20 mm below XY line because it is below HP. Mark uh, small r dash. This distance is 20 mm below xy line. Because it has no breadth, the top view lies on xy line. So therefore, the small r lies here and the small r dash lies here. So small r lies on xy line. Look at this point. Yes, yes is 30 mm in front of VP, but on HP. Because it has no height, put the front view on xy line, therefore s dash is on xy line. S is 30 mm in front of VP, obviously it will come below xy line by 30 mm. So take 30 mm below xy line and it will draw the point small s. Yes. Take 30 mm below xy line, then draw the point small s. Here one thing uh, very clear, there is no breadth uh, for a point, then the top view will be on x y line. There is no height for the point, then the front view will be on x y line. You have capital P is a point which is 40 mm above HP and on HP. So no breadth, the top view is on x y line. Here you have the point on HP, so therefore the front view is on XY line. Because it is 30 mm above XY, it should be behind BP. So 30 mm behind BP, so we draw 30 mm above XY line. Here we have the point uh, top view on XY line, so therefore the point is on BP. So the point is 20 mm below HP and on BP. Here you see the point is on HP and 30 mm in front of it. That's why the top view is below XY line. You have one more point, let's say put a big point here, it's a point common for all the quadrant, we name this as capital T. So T is on both HP and BP. So how do you mark the projection for T? Its front view 
as well as the top view lies on xy line. So put t dash and g in the bracket on xy line. So the point lies on the reference line. So therefore the projection lies on xy line. Both front view and top view lies on xy line. View and the corresponding projection. We take the first case. Position is above HP. So it always relates to front view. So naturally you should put the answer above XY line. Take the second case. The position is below HP. It relates to front view. You should plot the point below XY line. Here the position is on HP. Relates to front view. And you should put the point on XY line. Fourth case. The point is in front of VP. Position is in front of VP. It relates to top view. Answer should be below x -ray. Again, fifth case. Position is behind VP. It relates to top view. Answer should be drawn above x -ray. Last case, on VP. It relates to top view. And the top See the orthogonal projection of straight lines. Let's see type by type. First, let's see the simple case. Take uh, straight line AB, which is kept uh, parallel to both HP and BP. How do you say it is kept parallel to HP and BP? It's very simple. The fact is very simple. Just go to the point A, it is placed at a uh, height above HP. The same height is maintained at B also. It is placed at a distance in front of BP. The same in front of distance is maintained at the end of B also. Naturally, the straight line will be placed parallel to both HP and BP. So the answer looks like this. Just draw the reference line. Take the height for a dash. Plot the necessary length of the straight line. At the same height, p dash is also available. So mark it. Then you will get the point a dash p dash. So the answer is a dash p dash print view. Project a dash p dash. Draw one line through a dash. Similarly, draw another line through B dash. Take 